All right, guys. So I'm gonna teach you how to install OPBR JP Server app in your Android devices. So right now I'm using uh, an emulator. I'm using BlueStacks uh, on PC. So if you don't have extra Android device, right, and you want to play OPBR on PC, you can do exactly the same as what I've shown you as well. But even if you don't have uh, a PC, all right, you want to install it in your phone your android device the method is exactly similar all right so first thing what you need to do is to download uh tap tap uh app okay you cannot find it in play store so if you are using phone just go to web browser all right and search for it and right now since i'm on pc i'm just going to go to google search for tap tap app and then uh, go to uh, download tap tap mobile client so it will bring you to this page and you can choose get the full version tap tap which is what i choose yeah or you can get the light version if you want i know try to play around try to experiment around if let's say you cannot install through the full version you can try the light version as well all right so once you have download once you click this you will download the tap tap apk okay and uh if you are on your phone you can easily search for downloads Usually the APK file will be in your download folder, okay? And again, since I'm on emulator, I'm just gonna uh, install the APK here, all right? And uh, yeah, with BlueStacks, it's really straightforward. So once you have TapTap -tap installed, open it, okay? Uh, and TapTap -tap will ask you to create an account with them. So I'm just gonna continue with Google and because I've already registered with TapTap, -tap, so uh, mine is pretty straightforward. But if you guys haven't created an account with TapTap, -tap, they will ask you to put in your birth date, your, and then they will ask you some questions. So it's really straightforward, just answer all of them, yeah? And once you are inside, you want to search for One Piece Bounty Rush. Hang on, sorry. One Piece. All right, One Piece Bounty Rush, and you will see two APKs here. The first one is the global version. All right, as you can see from the English um, pictures up here. And the second one is the JP version. As you can see from the uh, JP uh, uh, text pictures up here. All right, so what you need to do is to download and yeah, allow everything for tap tap, of course. And for uh, some Android phones, right? Uh, they will ask you to allow installation from unknown sources, yeah. Or if they don't ask you, you need to allow that first for TapTap -tap to be able to be able to install APK from outside sources. Okay. Uh, I think uh, some of you might have a problem that uh, TapTap -tap cannot install the app, yeah. Especially some older Samsung phones. Because I tried the same method on one of my older Samsung phones and somehow it doesn't work. So yeah, let, if you have some problems, let me know in the comment section down below the phone models that you have. Yeah, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do later. Okay, so yeah, just click install and by now, if your device are up to date, if you have the latest Android phone, you should have no problem to play the game without even having to use VPN. Okay. But if let's say, for example, if let's say, for example, you cannot, okay, you cannot, um, if let's say, for example, you cannot somehow log in into the game, all right, it might be because you are not using a Japanese Gmail address. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to do that later. So if up to this stage, you guys cannot play the game, you guys cannot uh, proceed to the download page here. As you can see right now, we might have to use a VPN. But don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you are only using the VPN to create a Japanese email address or Japanese Gmail address, which I will show you how to do later. Yeah, I will not show you 100% how to do it because the steps are pretty straightforward, yeah? I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to create a Gmail. It is just that we want to create a Japanese Gmail uh, address 
which right now I'm using. Yeah, I'm currently using a Japanese Gmail address, hence why I have no problem. Uh, but yeah, once you have that already set up, you can play the game without even having to use VPN. So yeah, right now we are just waiting for the download to complete. And yeah, so just some recap. If you cannot install the app from TapTap, Tap, make sure to allow installation from unknown sources in your settings, yeah, in your phone settings. Make sure to allow installation from outside sources uh, or basically just allow everything that TapTap Tap does. Uh, because if not, you cannot install the uh, application. Yeah. So um, another thing worth noting is that if you are playing on Android, you cannot have both app, the global and also Japanese app in one device. So I repeat, you cannot have both OPBR global and also Japanese um, server in one device. So you have to delete your global server in order to allow installation for the JP server. All right. So unlike iOS, Android does not allow two, two uh, different servers at the same time. So yeah, Apple for the way because Apple allows OPVR JP server and also global server to be within same device. How cool is that? Um, but yeah, nonetheless, nonetheless, um, so once you have installed, it's straightforward. You should be able to play the game. All right, as you can see right now. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you, if let's say you cannot log in into the game, I'm going to teach you on how to create a Japanese Gmail address. So first things first, you need to download a VPN. I recommend ExpressVPN. Okay, and ExpressVPN honestly is a premium VPN, but don't worry, you can just abuse the free trial. As you can see here, my free trial will expire within two days, right? So, because I've already installed it. So, yeah, just install it, okay? And uh, once you want to pick Tokyo, right? You cannot pick Tokyo or Japan because it is a premium. You can only uh, select it if you have the premium version. So, um, again, I can't teach you because I've already, like, way past that. So, what you need to do is to just go, just purchase the premium version, yeah? It will not bill you yet. It will not bill your uh, uh, debit card or your Google card yet. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, uh, it will ask you for payment details uh, before it allows you to uh, have the free trial. But you can always go to the Play Store. All right. So what you need to do is go to your account here, your main profile. Yeah. And then you go to your payments and subscription. Go to subscription and you can always cancel the uh, purchase here, okay? Even after you cancel the uh, ExpressVPN purchase, right? You are still allowed to use the um, uh, free trial. So, okay, once everything is settled, once you can use the free trial, you can select for uh, Japan, Tokyo, all right? And uh, connect. So, once it has connect, you want to go to Gmail. All right, you want to go to Gmail and you want to create a new account. Okay, so again, I repeat, you want to go to Gmail and you want to create a new account. The process is again, really, really straightforward. So you just have to create a, an account with the VPN activated at Japan location. All right, once you have the email ready, Go to Play Store, all right? Go to Play Store, okay? And then click on your profile again, all right? Go to Manage Your Google Account, all right? So, because you want to add this email address, because if not, it doesn't change, yeah? So, you want to actually click this one, all right? You want to actually click this one, and then click Add Another Account here, all right? Add another account here, or if you have, or if you already have the um, account, you want to manage accounts at this device, and then click Google, all right, and you want to make the uh, J the JP Gmail that you have created as the main one. So 
Okay, so right now, since I only have one, right? Okay, it's very hard for me to show you. But but if you have two Gmail account, right? The first one is the one that you create in your own country. And the second, you will see the second one uh, where you uh, create with the uh, VPN activated in Japan location. So you don't want to remove the Gmail that you create with VPN. Instead, you want to remove the Gmail that you create in your country because you only want the Japanese Gmail to be available. So you need to click Google. All right, go to these uh, uh, three dots here, which is the settings and click remove account. Again, I repeat, remove account that is not, sorry, uh, remove account, remove the account that you create in your own country, okay? And keep the account that you create uh, with VPN activated to uh, Tokyo, okay? So you want to keep your Japanese Gmail account, all right, and remove your, again, your, your uh, 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 account that you create in your own country without the VPN. Why? Because you only want the uh, Japanese email um, account to be available here, all right? So once everything is done, go to home, all right, you should be able to play OPBR uh, easily. All right, so I'm so sorry that I cannot show you everything yeah, in detail, but I hope you guys understand the gist of it on how to do it. Yeah, because uh, to do everything, I have to create everything from scratch and the video will take just too long and confusing because honestly, everything in my eyes are really straightforward. You know, you just have to create uh, you just have to create Japanese Gmail and to do so, you need to download a VPN and there are so many tutorials in YouTube for you to do it. So yeah, plus I'm pretty sure most of you guys should be able to install the game uh, uh, like straight away yeah, without having any problem. Except again, if you're using older devices, it might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, so I still don't know how to rectify that problem if you ask me. But, but yeah, as it is right now, I, I wish you good luck and uh, hopefully you guys are able to start now to collect all the rainbow diamonds that you need. Because remember, next year we will have a uh, the fourth anniversary celebration and during the fourth anniversary celebration, the uh, banners are really, really good, really attractive. So you would want to stack up some rainbow diamonds uh, to summon on all those great banners, yeah. Uh, especially when your account is new, right? You need, you know, all the more reason for you to summon during anniversary. So start now, download now. Remember to collect all the freebies, all the rainbow diamonds, so that you can summon later on. Okay. So I guess that's it from me, yeah. And hopefully you guys are able to install the uh, game in your Android devices. But uh, so let me know if you are able to do it successfully. Uh, let me know as well if you are not able to do it. Uh, and yeah, tell me your problems. I know I'll, I'll see how to figure it out and solve it for you guys. So that's it, lads. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Ciao.